Power Valcoseal is an exterior surface repair material for use on tubeless tires. It is reinforced with tough nylon fibers so that it will not be cut by steel, and the uncured rubber outer surface acts to produce vulcanized adhesion. When using an adhesive, a chemical reaction is produced between the tire, the seal, and the adhesive for vulcanized adhesion that makes repairs strong and secure. This method is known as vulcanization. Even when not using an adhesive, a strong adhesive effect is achieved when repairing punctures, making this method both convenient and economical. This is known as the adhesion method. You can choose from four power Valcoseal types, S10, L10, L14, and L20, according to the size of hole you are repairing. We will now demonstrate the procedures for making repairs with power Valcoseal. First, use marking chalk to mark the location of the hole. Remove foreign objects from the tire. For holes created by objects such as nails and screws, remove the object while verifying the direction of the hole. When using the screw reamer, be sure to use Type S with Power Valcoseal S and Type L with Power Valcoseal L. Apply a generous amount of Super Valkarn G vulcanizing cement to the screw reamer. Adjust the puncture flaw by verifying its direction and then inserting the screw reamer, rotating it clockwise until it has been inserted up to the base of the handle. In order to keep the direction of the steel wires uniform, turn the reamer clockwise when extracting it as well. Perform this procedure two or three times. Once you have finished, leave the screw reamer inserted into the tire. Next, please remove Power Valka Seal's protective film. Insert Power Valka Seal into the hole at the end of the insert needle, making sure it is even on all sides. The tip of Power Valka Seal has been cut at a slant so that it can be easily set into the insert needle. Generously apply Super Valkarn G to Power Valka Seal once it has been inserted into the insert needle. Remove the screw reamer, put the tip of the insert needle to the puncture flaw, and then press it in firmly with a quick motion. Make sure the insert needle has gone far enough in, and then pull it straight out. When you perform this, the tip of the needle automatically opens and shuts 
leaving the seal firmly inside the tire and sealing the puncture. Cut off the excess power Valka seal from the surface of the tire, leaving about 2 or 3 millimeters of it on, and the repair is complete.